Hello friends, I wish you a good day. Hi guys welcome to my channel. My channel is Games96, Tom makes videos Plants vs Zombies 2. Today I made a video, Plants only in the Plants vs Zombies 2 Chinese version. Please leave your comments after watching all my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and share the channel. Thanks very much. Cop Cannon he works like how he did in the original Plants vs Zombies. To the point where he is an upgrade plant rather than his own individual plant and can be tapped to fire huge cobs that deal massive damage in a 3x3 area before needing to recharge. However, compared to the first game, at level 1, his damage is reduced to 1200 DPS, and his firing rate is increased to 50 seconds. He requires being planted on two side-by-side -side kernel pumps in order to be planted on the lawn. When given plant food, Cobb Cannon launches a corn cob that scatters explosive corn kernels for 6 seconds. Costumed. In addition to launching a corn cob, the corn's husk will turn into a missile that homes into the zombies after all kernels are scattered. Tiger Stool is a melee plant introduced in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It is able to roar at zombies within a 2x3 area ahead of it, stunning them. After the target is stunned it will brandish a rapid swiping claw attack that deals heavy damage. Zombies are unstunned after being attacked by Tiger Stool's claws. Range. 2x3 tiles ahead special. Stuns the zombies ahead with a roar, then sends out several phantoms to attack zombies in multiple directions. Tiger Stool is good at defeating opponents with lightning fast combos, and can advance and retreat freely in battle. Tiger Stool's plant food effect allows it to do a high damaging slash attack in a 3x3 area around itself. Cattail is a plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2. It fires only a single spike and has improved accuracy so any of its spikes in the air targeting a dead zombie will now target another. Its damage is increased, and it now has a chance to stun zombies for one second. Plus, it also has a very small chance of shooting a giant missile. In which a level 1 cattail's giant missile is capable of killing a level 2 gargantua instantly. When given plant food, cattail emits a cyan laser that gets larger and larger. That tracks down a random target. If the target is defeated, the laser will quickly move to another random zombie, similar to magnifying grass plant food effect. Firebloom Queen attacks zombies in her lane by shooting fireballs at them, similar to dragon fruit. When a zombie gets within 3 tiles ahead of her, Firebloom Queen will set the tiles alight. Similarly to Jack-O-Lantern, she will release her fire until all zombies are defeated in the respective range. When fed plant food, Firebloom Queen blows fire trails on her lane in the adjacent lanes for 6 seconds, similarly to Fire Pea Shooter. This affects all the tiles in front of her. Firebloom Queen will now shoot many fireballs, 3 to 4 at a time, along with her normal plant food effect. Berry Blaster is a plant from Steam Ages in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2. He can only be unlocked by the lottery system. He shoots a mulberry every 5 seconds into a zombie in his lane. Dealing 200 damage per shot to it in a 1 by 1 area. Berry Blaster launches berries to zombies. Plant food effect. Fires 6 mulberries at any random zombies. Not necessarily the closest zombies near him or the lawn. When fed plant food, he will shoot 6 mulberries and then afterwards, a large mulberry. Tiger Claw is a melee plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2. He uses his claw to ensnare the first zombie he encounters and uses it as a shield against other zombies. Tiger Claw will also damage zombies attacking his zombie shield by punching them with his other pedal arm. After the zombie Tiger Claw captures dies, Tiger Claw will need to recharge before he can snatch another zombie. When fed with plant food, Tiger Claw will suck in zombies to the front of him, wind up a powerful punch, and deal a large blow to zombies that knocks them back. When costumed, Tiger Claw's punch will instead knock zombies off of the screen. Gardener Grass is a lobbed shot plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs Zombies 2 introduced in the version 2.8.2 update. It uses the flower on its head as a saw blade, which stuns and deals rapid chip damage to zombies in the tile in front of it. After continuous attacking, however, Gardener Grass will have to recharge, leaving itself vulnerable. Gardener Grass also has a chance to instantly have the amount of health a zombie has with its attack. Origins Gardener Grass is based on the Protea Sinoroides, 
commonly known as the king protea, due to it having the largest flower head of its genus. When given plant food, gardener grass will throw out a large saw blade in front of it that damages and stuns zombies in a 3 by 3 Gurakila is a monthly special plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It slashes zombies within two tiles of it with a sword, dealing 200 damage per shot. Origins. It is based on an agave, a genus of monocots that is native to the hot and arid region of Mexico and the southwestern United States. Its name is derived from, guerra, the Spanish word for, war, and, tequila, a drink made from the agave plant. When fed plant food, Gurakila throws its sword up, grabs it, and slams it onto the ground which sends a shockwave that spews dirt along its path, dealing huge damage to every zombie within its lane. Costume. The attack now goes in three directions. Lotus Root is a plant from Steam Ages in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. He shoots water droplets at zombies that deal 20 damage per shot, functioning exactly like a pea shooter. He is also capable of absorbing toxic steam from sewers, allowing him to shoot a poisonous black water droplet that can poison zombies. The poisonous water droplet can deal up to 500 damage, including his poison effect. Origins. He is based on the root of the lotus plant, Nalumba. When fed plant food, Lotus Shooter shoots a large amount of water droplets that can push zombies. At the end he shoots a large bubble that deals 500 damage per shot to all zombies in a 1x1 one one area. Hammer Flower is a melee plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It attacks nearby zombies by hitting them with its hammer. Hammer Flower also has a chance to do a more powerful, heavy hammer. Attack which buries them into the ground which momentarily stuns them. Origins. Hammer flower is based on various members of the Dracaea genus of orchids, known colloquially as hammer orchids. When fed with plant food, hammer flower summons a massive hammer that deals a massive amount of damage to zombies in a 3x3 area. Fishhook grass is a knockback plant introduced in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It attacks by reeling in zombies with its fishhook and tossing them back at zombies. Origins. Fishhook grass is based on various members of the viola genus of flowers, containing flowers such as pansies and violets, and a fishing rod. Features. Catches zombies and throws them out. Dealing damage and stunning the first zombie the catch collides with. Plant feature. Green plant plant food effect immediately reels in the closest zombie to the house in each row. If no reelable zombies are available, it will instead deal heavy damage to the closest large zombie. Geisha flower is a plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2 for the second part of High Age. She throws her fan at zombies down her lane, damaging the first zombie it encounters. When a zombie is hit by Geisha Flower's fan, the fan will return to Geisha Flower in an arc, alternating between the arc going through the top adjacent lane, then the bottom adjacent lane. Plant Food Effect Geisha Flower's plant food ability makes her throw a flaming fan rapidly down her lane. This flaming fan deals heavy damage to the first zombie it encounters as well as knocking them back. The fan will also split in half, returning to Geisha Flower in two arches that that attack the top and bottom adjacent lanes simultaneously. Primal Reflesia is a plant from the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Primal Reflesia lobs balls at the zombies then creates a puddle that slows down zombies, similar to sap fling. Primal Reflesia can launch venom balls to attack zombies and cause slow effect. Origins. Like his more modern counterpart, Primal Reflesia is based on the Reflesia. Specifically the corpse lily, Reflesia arnoldi, a genus of parasitic flowering plants in the family Raphalesiaceae. When fed plant food, primal Reflesia lobs five venom balls at the random zombies. Energy Mangosteen is an electric plant introduced in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It attacks zombies by dealing electric damage in a 3x3 area around itself. Emits a ring of electricity around itself. Features. Emits a ring of electricity to attack surrounding zombies, grows over time after being planted every time energy mangosteen swears. It is always on the condition of getting struck by the thunder. Origins. Energy mangosteen is based on the mangosteen, Garcinia mangostana, a fruit commonly cultivated in Southeast Asia. When fed plant food summons a large bolt of lightning to itself, releasing a large ring of electricity that deals heavy damage to zombies in its area. Monkey fruit is a monthly special plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. 
He attacks by throwing his staff at zombies, which stops when it hits one, and spins for a few seconds. Damaging all zombies on that tile. When upgraded, his staff spins around for a longer amount of time. Monkey Fruit pulls out his staff to attack the nearest zombie and also does damage to all zombies in that square. Great Saint, Victor of Buddhas. Monkey King. Monkey Fruit wants to put all of his names out to represent himself. However, reality is cruel, as in the eyes of the zombies, he's just an edible fruit. That's all. When given plant food, Monkey Fruit gets a giant Monkey King bar and smashes zombies in a range of five tiles and Impaintians is a straight shooting plant in the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Impaintians attacks zombies by shooting dye seeds at them. Impaintians is also a growing plant similar to Sunshroom and Strawburst. Sometime after being planted Impaintians will color itself differently and fire more damaging dye seeds at targets. When fed with plant food, Impatience will dye herself to her final coloration and fire a large barrage of dye seeds ahead of her. When costumed, the amount of seeds in the seed barrage is doubled. And the seeds now fan out instead of only being fired straight ahead. Splitting Stefania attacks zombies by throwing leaves at them. When a zombie is hit, the leaves will split and deal damage in a 2x3 area around the targeted zombie, with one attack for a single tile. If there are multiple zombies, one is chosen at random. The attack is a direct impact and does not pierce. Splitting Stefania can also resist and reflect Ninjum's pufferfish attack. When given plant food, Splitting Stefania will fire six leaves ahead of it. These leaves will knock back any zombie hit by them one tile as well as split to damage additional zombies. Costume. Splitting Stefania's costumed effect lights these six leaves on fire, dealing additional damage. Master Kane uses his Nunchaku to attack zombies in two ranges in a range of three tiles in front of him, with each attack dealing 25 damage per shot. He repeats a cycle of three attacks with his Nunchaku. After that, he will cool down for a while. Origins. He is based on the genus Saccharum, commonly known as Sugarcane. His name comes from Sugarcane. The plant he's based on in Master is how a martial art teacher is called in Chinese generally when fed plant food Master King sends out many circling sticks of Nunchaku in three lanes, three tiles down the lanes, and finishes with a wave down the center lane, three tiles. He will also hit himself with his Nunchaku and get dazed, which is only a effect in appearance. Nuclear Earth Star it is a legendary plant, and it attacks by launching missiles at the first zombie within its attack range. Nuclear Earth Star deal damage in a 3x3 area, as well as leaving an area of radiation in the tile of the targeted zombie and the tiles next to, above, and below it. When a zombie enters any of the radiated tiles, the zombie will absorb the radiation and become a radioactive zombie. When fed plant food, Nuclear Earth Star will launch multiple smaller missiles at various targets on the screen. Radiating zombies that are medium size and smaller. Costumed. On top of its normal plant food attack, three extra missiles will be launched which prioritize larger zombies and is able to radiate zombies of all sizes. Orchid Chef attacks by lobbing soup at zombies, damaging them and making them smell bad. Zombies one tile behind smelly zombies will be driven away by the odor. Smelly zombies odor will dissipate after 3 seconds. If attacked continuously, smelly zombies will no longer drive away other zombies. Instead, they will not be drawn to sushi, but will still be affected by it. When given plant food, Orchid Chef will target the five closest zombies and throw five large balls of soup at them. These large blobs of soup will damage and odorize in a 3x3 area. Costume. Orchid Chef's costumed effect will make the large globs of soup blob feel more damage and stun zombies.